All right. Um, so I'm Zubin Garamani, and I'd like to welcome you to Information, Inference, and Energy uh, a Symposium to celebrate David Mackay's work. So we have a great program for you um, with talks by some of David's uh, colleagues, collaborators, inspirations, former students and postdocs. Um, and as many of you know, and as Andy has already mentioned, um, David's work spans a tremendous, staggering range of topics. Um, and in each of these, he's had a tremendous impact. So we'll hear talks about uh, information theory, machine learning, neural networks, um, computational neuroscience, assistive technologies, science communication, and sustainable energy. So the presenters are going to span um, the whole range of David's career from his, uh, you know, we'll hear from people uh, who knew him when he was an undergrad here in Cambridge and uh, from his Caltech days um, and then his years at the Cavendish um, as chief scientific advisor to the Department of Energy and Climate Change and now as Regis Professor of Engineering. And we have some surprises for you um, towards the end. And uh, along with the 15 longer talks, um, we're going to have some, uh, some brief reminiscences by people who've worked with David, some of David's colleagues. And you know, if, you, if you'd like to add to that, come and see us. Um, so these will be fairly informal. Um, and uh, we'd like to, this uh, event, um, has been helped by lots of people. I'll thank all the people at the end, but I wanted to thank um, upfront all of our sponsors that um, have sponsored uh, many of the costs of the event. Okay, so before we start the actual program, I'd like to say a few words. Um, David has and continues to be a tremendous inspiration for me. Um, he's been a great influence on me, frankly. I mean, his... Uh, beautiful and elegant work on Bayesian neural networks um, really was a, a turning point for me. When I read that, I got converted, and uh, I had, there's been no going back. And uh, it still uh, inspires the way I do my research in Bayesian machine learning and the way I teach it in particular as well. You know, as many of you, you know, uh, I will happily steal great figures from David's uh, book and lectures to do my own teaching. Um, so David would occasionally visit Jeff Hinton's group. We're very fortunate to have Jeff giving a video talk um, later tomorrow. He'd visit Jeff Hinton's group in Toronto um, when I was a postdoc there. Um, and then uh, that relationship continued when Jeff and I moved to um, London and Carl Rasmussen was also in Toronto and he moved to London at the Gatsby unit. And um, David, we were very fortunate that David became a regular um, visitor, so he got a, uh, we were at the Gatsby Computational Neuroscience Unit, and he got a Gatsby Fellowship, which basically meant he could come down one day a week and chat to us, or rather, uh, you know, he would come down one day a week, and we would learn something new every week, basically. Um, and I think it was sort of on the train, um, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was on the train between Cambridge and London that David started thinking about uh, you know, sustainable energy and, and so on, and gave maybe one of his first talks, of a very, you know, embryonic talk about that topic to us, which was totally off topic for all of us, but still fascinating. Um, and uh, it, it was just wonderful um, to work with David, uh, and it still is, every time I talk to him, uh, you know, I get this sense that you can't really you know, you can't really stop if you don't completely understand something. You're going to have to dig deep, simplify it, boil it down to a very simple problem. If you have to code it up and do a little simulation, just do it now, right? You know, don't wait until you really understand something. And this really inspires my own research, and this is what I, I strive to. Um, uh, I'm also fortunate that my first generation of PhD students, some, some of whom are here, um, were actually uh, basically products of David Mackay. So they, would, they were physicists who uh, had taken David's undergraduate class 
and learned about machine learning and wanted to do a PhD in machine learning. And for some reason, Davis w David was very generous. And he, instead of saying, well, come work with me, he would say, you could, you know, you could work with me or you could go to London if you want a change of scenery. And so some of them wanted a change of scenery, ended up working with me, and uh, that was what started off my, my own lab. Um, and uh, in fact, uh, after a few years when I was uh, thinking about moving to Cambridge, um, the fact that David was here was one of the reasons I, I decided to come here, really one of the main reasons. So I think it's fair to say that you know, I wouldn't be working on what I work on, uh, I wouldn't have had the great group that I had, and I probably wouldn't even be in Cambridge if it wasn't for David. So thank you, David. Um, and uh, now we can kick off.